Well, good evening and welcome to Health and Wellness Wednesday. This is the Dr. Uh, Ask Dr. Jenny show, and I'm so glad that you're going to join us this evening. Hey, we're talking about brain fog. We're talking about the causes and the treatment for those kinds of conditions about dementia, Alzheimer's, memory loss, difficulty staying focused. That's what we're going to be talking about. And Dr. Jenny will be with us just shortly. And I just want to say again, welcome. I hope you've been having a good day today. It's been a good day. Um, I want you to do this. This is going to be a pretty powerful uh, discussion this evening. We're going to also take questions from the viewers. So if you have questions that you would like to ask relating to dementia or memory loss, these types of things, then feel free to go ahead and put them in the comments and we'll address those questions. And so it is an interactive broadcast. And our whole goal here is to help to educate, uh, to to let you know that the, we can do some things to overcome the, you know, the possibility of coming down with some of this stuff. And I know that for myself, um, I certainly have experienced it, I think, all through my life. But now I'm going to say I experience sometimes disease. Because sometimes I remember and sometimes I don't. But, you know, have you ever found yourself out there in a situation like uh, you're leaving the grocery store? It's like, where did I park my car? And it's like, I can't remember where I did it. And or like for me, I was talking about this earlier this morning. Where did I leave my wallet? Or I, I lost my wallet. Uh, or in the past, I've had my wife lose their, leave behind their purse and leave their purse. Has this type of stuff ever happened to you? Well, I know it's happened to me. And so it's frustrating. It creates a bunch of anger for me. Um, but I've learned to deal with that anger. Um, I can recognize it. But then what I have to do is just take a couple deep breaths. Okay, you know, it happened, it does. But now what am I going to do to try and solve the situation? That's what I have to do is come up with an answer next. Now, I think a lot of times, personally, for myself, I think that what it was is a situation that uh, maybe I was tired. A lot of times I found myself, uh, when I really wasn't taking care of myself well, uh, and I was just spending too much time, honestly, on the social media and finding myself with a couple hours of sleep and doing that day after day after day. The next thing I knew, I couldn't function well. I mean, to the point of deliriousness. And so it's no one wonder I couldn't think straight as well. In the past, some of you may know, or and if you don't, I had some pretty dark moments and I was dealing particularly with alcohol but as well with drugs. And so I was doing that on a regular basis. And, you know, I look back now and I say, hey, hey it's no wonder I had memory loss. It's no wonder that, that, that I couldn't think straight uh, or that I could, couldn't focus on the things that I was trying to get done. Nine times out of 10, I was probably dealing with a hangover. Um, so that really sucked. And thankfully by the grace of god now i don't do that type of stuff and, and and i am blessed and i'm happy that i'm not having to turn to something to have a false identity and reality about life um yes it was wearing a mask and so i let go of that mask i've been trying to take care of myself from a health and wellness standpoint and eating well getting the rest not overdoing it and and just simply getting myself to a point where even though today i mean it was like i was trying to think of somebody's name and it's like i know their name it's right on the top tip of my tongue but i couldn't think of it and so i'm looking forward to dr jenny coming in she is apparently running a little bit behind i know that she's a very busy person so i'm just anxiously waiting just as you are for her to show up and as soon as she does we'll bring her into the studio and uh, you can ask her your questions that you might have related to these um, issues about brain fog or dementia alzheimer's memory loss and just simply staying focused. And I know that for myself, the things that I had to do was to get 
enough rest and then eat well. A balanced diet is really important. And so because I had met Dr. Jenny, and of course, she's now our director of, uh, uh, on the board uh, of the Medical Advisory Committee, I've learned a lot. She's put me on um, the uh, bioenzymes. And so I'm, I'm getting my gut health healthy. I, I'm things to keep my awareness sharp. And what I recognized even just a few moments ago when I was getting ready to do this broadcast, that there was a code that I had to put in to get into the studio, to get on this platform. And amazing, it's six numbers. I know in the past, I couldn't remember necessarily six numbers, but I could remember the six numbers, punched them right in, here we are. And so um, I apologize that Dr. Jenny is not here with us. Something might be holding her up. If you'll just bear with me for a half a moment, I'm going to, okay. She's needing the link. She has no updated link. Um, okay, so bear with me, folks. I apologize for this. Let me just send her a quick message. It's on her um, public page. I, I know I sent the correct code to her um and i'll just do it again for the heck of it uh let me just do this while we're talking and so i, I want to know your questions she is going to be on with us in just a minute uh i've copied that so um hopefully that will work and she will be with us in just a moment so we want to know your questions we want to know if you have experienced this type of stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right now to some comments here. And then we'll start dealing with them. And I want to start with Christina. Christina, welcome. And I really appreciate Christina. She's been coming to these broadcasts. And by the way, they're every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Um, I just want to make sure. And, and so we really appreciate that you do join us. And Shirley Connolly is with us. Um. I'd rather not get totally distracted here. Uh, messenger, I got to tell her that. Um, for her public page. Okay. She's saying that she's not seeing it. A messenger for your link. I really apologize, folks. Thanks for bearing with me. <laughs> I appreciate that. I know that there's probably going to be a lot of people watching, and I hate when things like this happen, but they are. Um, so we're going to continue with some, some comments. Okay. So Christina talks about doing a lot of word games, puzzles, and tries to keep her mind active. Lots of laugh. But she forgets sometimes. I know that I forget sometimes. And, and I really do want to have her... Join us here. She's saying she didn't have the link, but I know that I'd sent it. I've copied it here, but I'm going to have to just for a half a moment, if you can bear with me, open up my Gmail so that I can, in fact, make sure that I send another copy to her. Um, so we I mentioned earlier that we want you to go ahead, put your questions down. If you know someone uh, that deals with these types of issues, um, Share this message out to them. Let's learn something and let's uh, be able to share that and then utilize uh, some holistic remedies that are going to be able to prevent us from coming down with these types of conditions. Um, and I know that a lot of it has to do with um, certainly the way that we take care of ourselves. And so in one moment here. Um, I'll try and get this straightened out. It always seems like it could be some one thing or another. And so I'm going to tell her that I'm going to send it to sending in Gmail. Now. All right. So this makes for an interesting um, broadcast, doesn't it? <laughs> it's supposed to be smoother than this. Okay, so she's watching, <laughs> but she's not in the, okay, Jenny, there we are. 
and just go right to the link and here we go paste this link i apologize folks <laughs> nothing like trying to do something two things at the one time i'm multitasking again so there it is i've sent it off to her now i can come back to the broadcast and now she should get it she's watching me but she has no link okay i keep on talking about gmail so yes dr jenny since you're watching and i don't have to send this to you i just sent it to jenny at age vital okay on gmail and so you can just click on that link and that should bring you right on in because i just copied it from here so i know that's the correct link and then we'll start moving forward so i got sidetracked there and richard fay is with us thank you richard he says he knows a lot about dementias you know richard fay is actually our artistic champion i've known richard for quite some time as a matter of fact probably pushing two years now and and he he deals with autism but he is such an out-of-the-box kind of guy. And so he's probably got some great, great comments for us this evening. And he said that having parents with Parkinson's um, and a mother with Alzheimer's, if it was Alzheimer's, she wouldn't, she, he wouldn't want to live. Now, that's pretty serious, Richard. I know that Alzheimer's is, is a tough thing. I, I've been involved with people that have it. And... I know for me it is a struggle, but what I'm having to learn is this. Where I thought that I was not a caregiver in the past, I've had to learn that I need to be a caregiver. I mean, that's what I'm doing with the LWN Foundation is, is that I'm, I'm making my purpose to help other people. And so I do grow and I learn and I have to do things that I thought I could never do in the past. And, and that's what I've been trying to do. Oh, she is with us now. See, awesome. Um, so I've been having to try to do things that I've never done in the past um, and be with people. Uh, I've, got a, I've got another example for you, but I'm going to save that. Let's just go ahead. Let's bring in the star of this show. Oh my Dr. goodness, <laughs> the star of the show, it's Steven, can you hear me? I mean, yes, I can hear you. Well, Hello, how are you? I am doing well, and hopefully I did okay there, just improvising for a few minutes. Now. You are a superstar, you're fabulous. Oh, <laughs> thank you, that's very kind. Yes. Uh, welcome, I'm, I'm sure you've been super busy like you always are and i'm glad <laughs> yeah. that you're here and i know that there's a lot of great comments coming in and i'm just going to remind everybody number one share this out okay if you know somebody that can benefit from tonight because we're going to get into some good stuff here we're going to help you come up with some remedies we're going to learn about it more i want to know what causes this stuff and how we can overcome it or better coping skills to help mm -hmm. others like i was just talking about um and so we've got some great comments i'm gonna um say welcome why don't you just go ahead and um start telling us a little bit about you know you're the person that you give us these themes this is what she does for us everyone is is that she sets the tone for what we're talking about on a weekly basis <laughs> today is brain fog oh who wants that and that's the worst thing we've all been there we're all we're all sufferers of brain fog because we live in toxic babylon everything is designed to cause some form of psychosis it seems especially in the united states right yes if you're if you're living and breathing you're going to have neurological stress that's just the fundamental facts of life but some of that neurological stress can be amplified based on negative neurofeedback constantly negative neurofeedback right right and then we have america's band-aids it's a quick band-aids for boo-boos is what i call them that right someone presents with mental fatigue mental fog neuropsychiatric di disorders like alzheimer's dementia insomnia ms parkinson's all of these different diseases cause mental fog these are more chronic versions mm -hmm. of mental fog right bipolar mm -hmm. disorder schizophrenia and then you just have the mental fog the anxiety i mean that's mental fog right there forgetfulness that's huge how many of us yes. have experienced walking into the kitchen and then going into the refrigerator 
And then looking in there, I'm like, what am I doing in here? Oh, I had to go to the bathroom. I've done that. <laughs> I had terrible mental What am thoughts. I doing? Right, what am I doing? Or you go into the bathroom and you're like, I don't need to go to the bathroom. I wanted to go get myself a drink, right? Or right. you have that mental fog where you're talking to someone and you forget their last name or you forget who you're talking to. You forget their first name. Oh my gosh, I had a doctor. He's actually one of my medical directors. He had um, stage one of Alzheimer's. And I kept telling him, Art, you can't be drinking Diet Coke. And he was a regular allopathic doctor, but he was just getting into functional regenerative medicine. And he kept drinking. I've known this guy for 15 years, so I know how sharp he is, but he's drinking this aspartame, aspartame. University of Florida did a study about aspartame, the synthetic sugar that causes memory loss. And they gave all of these gators, right, mm -hmm. the students, aspartame right before a test, even after studying for weeks and knowing all of the material. So they did a study with them with aspartame and without aspartame. Without aspartame, they all got, you know, basically perfect scores. And with the aspartame, they couldn't even remember any of anything that they said. I mean, this is huge. You have something that converts into formaldehyde in the brain. There's one simple thing right there that people can remove out of their diet is that terrible, terrible aspartame, which is a synthetic ingredient in diet pop. I never liked this stuff. It makes the sodas taste weird. But didn't they prove that that was like cancerous or not? It, well, it is. It, it, it's yeah. toxic to the brain. It, it converts into for, formaldehyde. Do you know what formaldehyde is, Stephen? So, well, sure. That's what they use to put in your body to preserve it. Yeah, right. right. They use this to embalm dead people. Embalming. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. So we're preserving right. your brain, right? You're making your brain <laughs> last forever, but it's not working. <laughs> I had no idea. Yes. I had no it's Thank terrible. God I don't drink diet sodas, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, it's terrible. Diet sodas. Like, get, you know, convert all your diet pop, even your regular soda in the can, in the plastic bottle, convert it to the glass bottle sodas. There's okay. a soda that people can drink that doesn't have the toxic sugars in there. It's not, okay. you know, your body recognizes normal sugars. There's three sugars in our body okay. fructose, sucrose sucrose and glucose, three sugars. And what does companies like Monsanto pop out? Aspartame, high fructose corn syrup, dextrose, multi-dextrose, saccharin, ugh, all of these you know, synthetic versions of something that already naturally occurs in your body. Your body knows how to metabolize natural sugars. It's what when is people abuse the natural sugars that's gonna start causing you know, side effects, but so does you know, over drinking water, you can. Well, we need sugar. Make your minerals go out of alignment. I, I you mean, do sugar, need sugar. Yes, we need sugar so that they can convert for energy, right? For fuel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sugar mm -hmm. equals energy equals fuel. Right now, one of the things that I wanted to kind of uh, talk about because I think that we may know of or or even have parents uh, or relatives that might have gone through some dementia, but but the as I mean the um, Alzheimer's. What what is causing this Alzheimer's, and why are so many people coming down with this? And and, and it's just the hardest thing to watch because, you know, you, you know them, you you know that they knew you, but then they turn in, you know, to their son or daughter, and who are you? Why are you here? Why why is this happening, Doctor Jenny? Well, there we go. We're going back to the sugars, the synthetic sugars with dementia, right? Okay. So like you said, we do need sugars. But then when you're over abusing the synthetic sugars and everything, all of our food, Stephen, I mean, it is mm. just, if there's a pandemic out there, it is mm. land of the, you know, obese, diabetic, and mm. demented. <laughs> Welcome to America. We're... 88% of the population's obese. <laughs> well, and I was talking about things like, you know, it's really important to get a, enough sleep because I know that in the past when I had just allowed myself to be consumed by the social media and I'm getting two hours of sleep and I'm doing this day in, day out. And then, of course, I, I was still getting up, you know, two hours of sleep. We're talking going to bed around midnight and then waking up at three like I do. 
-hmm. then running till, you know, eight or nine o'clock at night. And I got to the point where I was literally delirious. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and saying, no wonder well, I can't sleep or I mean, I, I can't focus. I mean, could, well, the sugar high, right? There's a lot to say with a sugar high when you're saying don't feed your children all that sugar. It makes them wired and then they crash, right? But what mm -hmm. that means, I mean, they're, they're literally getting high off of this, this uh, chemical, right? So sugar creates a dangerous cycle of insulin resistance. So poor insulin controls, um, it appears, you know, risk for Alzheimer's. All the studies with Alzheimer's disease that's out there, the peer-reviewed studies show that it's really mostly linked to all the synthetic sugars that I'm talking about, the, the, the multidextrose, the dextrose, the um, sucralose, the aspartame, the high fructose corn syrups. I mean, I just listed five off right there. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. So what that means is when you're at a restaurant, you see the pink packet, the blue packet, the yellow packet, and then the white packet, because that's processed sugar as well. It's bleached, right? So I tell people switch to the brown sugar, or switch to honey. Honey is so much better. It tastes like sugar. It's naturally sweet. It doesn't interrupt your insulin, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't affect your glucose. So I mentioned five synthetic sugars. Yvonne laughs at me, my, my uh, marketing director. She always says, I need, a, I need a tape you. We're at restaurants all the time and someone's with me. I'm like, ah, don't open that packet. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm like, diabetes, Alzheimer's, dementia, cancer, Ew, you know? <laughs> but going back to the science, of it right when you yes. eat food carbohydrates starches and sugar uh, in your food are broken down into other types of sugar called glucose so there's a natural sugar that's okay. when you're eating natural whole foods mm -hmm. right foods that are non-gmo mm -hmm. as your body digests the foods the stomach and your small intestine absorb the sugar and send it into your bloodstream right this is how you measure uh, insulin or measure the amount of glucose the hormone insulin pulls sugar from the bloodstream and gives it to the cells inside the organs and to the muscles. This gives your cells energy. So you're talking about the importance of sugar, but it's the mm -hmm. types of sugars that you eat. Now right? that brings up a really good point because I'm, you know, um, my my father's diabetic, mm -hmm. um, and I've known other people that are diabetic, and. I remember, and let's clarify this because I just remember a gentleman. I just think way back here. And he was diabetic, and I don't think my dad was at the time. But it's like he felt like he was going to be faint, mm -hmm. and he was going to pass out. And he says, I need to get some sugar right now. And so he's like, went and grabbed a candy bar and ate a candy bar. Is that the thing to do? No, it's not no. the thing to do, right? Because now that candy bar has the wrong type of sugar in there, and it's overly concentrated. What he should have done was get a tablespoon of honey, right? Okay. or eat like a, um, a, a certain type of cracker, like the baked crackers, right? Those natural carbohydrates mm -hmm. or half a sweet potato or eating a fruit like a orange, you know, or a tangerine or an apple. You're getting the natural sugars, non-GMO apple seed produce with seeds in it. And um, what happens with the diabetics is they get, they don't have enough. Now their receptor sites are not working right. So the glucose is not uh, signaling, you know, correctly. Okay. So then they become hypoglycemic first and then they turn into diabetics. And then you can renormalize those receptors by taking a product called L-glycine. L-glycine regulates glucose in the body naturally. So it starts to cooperate the way it did, you know, prior. So you see there's a balance there. L-glycine is the L -glycine. substance and it tastes right. like sugar. Yep, L-glycine is is the smallest of amino acids, but it's one of the most powerful and it tastes like sugar. I have people at my store buy like jugs of it because it looks like sugar. It's powdery white amino acids mm -hmm. typically are very white or a yellow uh, color okay. when, uh, when isolated, meaning um, when, when it's in its isolate form. And then once you add that right before you go to bed, because it does make you super calm. It's a great relaxer. It almost has the, the same effect as mm. taking um, a, like an anti-anxiety med or mm. like a Xanax or a Valium. It is, it's so calming to your adrenals, mm. but it calms uh, your glucose. It regulates your glucose. It's very powerful. 
Very, that's, that's very, very informative. I want to mm -hmm. remind everybody, make sure that you share this video out. Uh, there's a lot of people that might be suffering from this. And we've also been just talking about straight old, oh, I forgot where I parked thing. And why did I go? What was I after again? Type of stuff. We're going to be, we're mm -hmm. talking about all of that. And so we want you to share it to your friends and to your groups. And, and I'll remind you that Dr. Jenny is with us every se every Wednesday, 7 p.m. And it is the Ask Dr. Jenny Show on Health and Wellness Wednesday. And so we're talking about things to try and help you get as healthy as you can, mind, body, and spirit. This week we're talking about brain fog. You know, we're talking about memory us we're talking about staying focused so dr jenny what are the some of the things that we should be doing so that we can have the highest level of focus there's a lot of stuff out there i mean a lot of these what messes um, with your sugar what messes with your insulin are we back right? to sugars again so sugar yeah, well sugar sugar is definitely the the huge component for <laughs> um mental fog and you know, messing with your pancreas, messing with your insulin, messing even with uh, your, your your leptin levels, mm -hmm. right? So what causes satiation? But yeah, sugar drowns the brain and the brain needs insulin, right? For energy. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the levels cause, you know, the brain needs more of the insulin, not the sugar. The sugar's already in the, um, the brain, uh, the bloodstream. So what people need to do is, okay, uh, understand biochemistry and knowing when to eat the sugars and when to eat, because it's really, it's years of, you know, synthetic sugar abuse, right? Mm -hmm. That keeps okay. messing with that insulin and blood sugar. And then right. years of simple carbohydrate, you know, bad carbs. So there's good carbs and they're bad carbs. So you want the complex carbs, not mm -hmm. the simple carbs, right? Mm -hmm. So you okay. can indulge as well, but if you're going to be an overindulger, which America is filled with overindulgers, right? <laughs> I'm I'm guilty. I've been there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah maybe, like today, I had a little I had, bit. You know, I, I got to admit, <laughs> one of the things I was thinking about today is not to eat the kind of some of this junk food that I eat. These snacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it's like a healthy diet's really important to this whole whole thing, isn't it? Yep, low glycemic diets, right? And a, a, a flexible diet. Like mm -hmm. I said uh, in one of our podcasts, I'm a flexitarian. So I eat low glycemic 90% mm -hmm. of the week. And then I have my Friday night cheats and my Saturday where I cheat all day long. So you're mm -hmm. allowing yourself to live, right? Not just exist because you you don't want it once you completely restrict it and then knowing what supplements to take during those cheats like on friday nights i take my l glycine and on friday and on saturday nights i take my l glycine to make sure that i'm not messing with my insulin my glucose control right mm -hmm. because i have fried chicken or i had uh pizza or i had you know you name it waffles, all that good stuff right all the good <laughs> stuff with my children they look forward to our to our cheat day and our cheat evening and mm -hmm. we have burgers we have fries and it just allows us to indulge but we know how to live functionally and take our supplements at the end of the day right that That's way important. yep right. we're getting rid of that oxidative stress to the brain mm -hmm. so and there's other factors you know stress causes fatigue on your brain so chronic stress can increase blood pressure, it weakens the immune system, it triggers depression, it causes you, you know, to get what's called the stress belly or the Buddha belly, right? You get that pop belly. Mm -hmm. You got you guys know who you are. I know mm -hmm. I know which clients are stressed <laughs> with, especially my men, because they got this big gigantic belly and it's hard and it's all mm -hmm. cortisol because stress you know causes an abundance of cortisol wow. and it's not soft it's not fat it's actual right. it, that's why they call it the stress belly it's not fat oh. but once we re reduce the amount of stress and then balance out the adrenal glands the cortisol that belly starts to deflate but these men some of them look eight months pregnant but right. they're never going to give birth i mean they literally look <laughs> pregnant <laughs> but stress and causes that not, mental fatigue right so it's Your not the beer belly is, it's not the beer. Thing. Well, beer causes stress oh, on beer. your adrenals. Yes, oh. causes stress in your adrenals. Okay. So, I mean, it's loaded with the yeast, right? Mm -hmm. And it's loaded with all the, you know, the empty calories, the sugar, 
I mean, you might as well just be pounding a bunch of sugar. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But yeah, when you're stressed, your brain is exhausted and it becomes harder to think, to reason, to focus. So if you're a beer drinker, make sure you're taking your probiotics before you go to bed and take L-glycine. You know, every every day that you're having a beer, even if it's just one, because one beer can start this vicious cycle. So mm-hmm. take L-glycine, take three grams of L-glycine. I have my functional mm-hmm. drink drinkers as my clients. And mm-hmm. what I mean by fun, you know what I mean by functional drinkers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're mm-hmm. preventative. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. They take their L-glycine. They take their probiotics before they go to bed. And then they there never have any side effects. That's excellent. See, mm-hmm. yes. So I want to I want to go to some of these questions. I know that Richard Fay and we really appreciate these comments, and, and I'm so glad that you're here with us. And by the way, he's watching all the way from the UK. Um, and so let's which one do you want to pick? One of his questions. I mean, I'm looking at a couple of them here, Dr. Jenny. Okay, let me see. I'm looking at him right there. Yeah, which one? Uh, the, the sh- I. It. I have a Richard Fay. Yep, I have. Mm-hmm. Where did I see one? I have Nikki Ashanti. Does sugar cause high blood pressure? Okay, is that what you want to start with? Yeah, we can start with that and then work okay. backwards. All right, yep. that sounds fine to me. Let's start with Nikki, and she's asking about does sugar cause the high blood pressure? Absolutely. So uh, sugar uh, could be the biggest cause of high blood pressure, actually. So, but natural sugars from fruits and vegetables is fine. Because again, it's not overly concentrated, right? When we're pre prepackaged foods, everything is overly concentrated. It, it's an unnatural amount that they put it in there, as even as a preservative, right? That's what the synthetic ones are for. So watch out for the synthetic sugars that's going to elevate your um, your blood pressure. So there's different. Uh, different types of uh, drinks, the pop drinks, the deli meats, the frozen pizzas that have all the synthetic sugars in there. Um, even pickles, like the, the packaged pickles, mm-hmm. right? So they use sugar. They put a bunch of the synthetic sugar in that to mm-hmm. make them last longer. So you see they're using it. They're using the synthetic sugar as a preservative. I didn't canned know Canned soups. Canned soups, yeah, have almost um, 900 milligrams of sodium plus all of the extra added sugars. You should look at the label. You'll see the synthetic sugars in there. So there's a lot of talk about organic. And so, but I I know that there's controversy there too, just because it says organic doesn't mean necessarily that it's the right thing, does it? Yeah, Um, organic doesn't mean it's organic to your body. Yeah. Okay. Organic and, is a very loosely used term. Organic means from the earth. Poison ivy is from the earth, but we don't consume it, right? That's organic. Right. <laughs> right. So, so it's got to be organic to our body. So pick products that have the natural sugars that I discussed in there: the fructose, mm-hmm. the sucrose, or the glucose. Right. Those are the three sugars in our body, in our chemical pathway. We looked at a biochemistry chart. Those are the three sugars that are in our body. So in so pick brown sugar or honey or pick natural fruits. If you have a sweet craving, I usually tell people eat a banana because that potassium, Mm -hmm. that potassium, that banana, boom, completely modulates that sweetness. Um, craving that you have that overwhelming sweetness it really you know it subsides it and it's healthy for you if you eat a banana Excellent. or take a tablespoon of honey the honey I know that yep. there's a question on honey I'm just gonna pop this one up I know that this is one of his first ones and, and yeah, I'm, I'm going sure backwards I'm, to Richard Faye we're going all the yeah, way let's, back yeah let's go all the way back and we, we're talking about parents. water yeah oh, well, Dr. how far Dan, do you want to go water? back yeah Oh yeah, you see all this stuff. He's go to wherever you want to go to, um, whichever question you would like to address. Do that, Doctor Jenny, and then I'll find it and I'll pop it up, and we'll give that person the credit because this is about asking questions. Certainly, if you have a question about this, you want to know something more, it's something that we haven't discussed already. Please bring that up. We'll do our best to get this on the on the program. Yeah. Now we, we are, you know, I, I do think in general, most people are dehydrated and our body makes up of 60 percent water. Right. Mm-hmm, Give or take, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. go up to 65. Mm-hmm. But 
not all water is created equal as well. So meaning that not all water is properly alkaline. It says mm -hmm. reverse osmosis. It says, you know, free and clear. But what that means is they stripped it away from the minerals in the electrolytes. So when you're drinking water, what's the purpose of drinking water? So I'm going to walk people through it because I think once they see it for what the purpose is, it makes people understand and be aware of it. Like I always put lemon juice in my water and a little bit of salt, you know, in public restaurants or even the bottled water. I mm -hmm. have my lemon squeeze in my refrigerator, Stephen, and my mm -hmm. children all do it. I put okay. a little bit of the lemon squeeze and that naturally alkalines it. I also sell the mineral drops. They're like $6 mm -hmm. and I just put, you know, for every, for every ounce, I put one drop. So if it's an eight ounce um, a bottle of water, I put one drop Isn't of that... my electrolytes. And what that does is it alkalines it to above a 7.8. You want your water to be at a pH of 7.8 because if yeah. it's not, it's not nourishing yourself. It's not hydrating you. And you, the whole purpose of drinking water is to hydrate you. When someone tells me, I drank two liters of water today, that's half a gallon, you know? Right. I'm saying, that's a lot of water. I was like, yes. what, why are you drinking that much water? I said, you shouldn't be drinking that much water. He's like, yeah, and I'm still thirsty. They still have the drive, and then they're getting their minerals even more out of, out of whack because they're overly hydrating themselves, right? Okay. So when you're when you're thirsty, your body is craving minerals and electrolytes. Okay. That and is, I saw that. What product mm -hmm. is that that you got? Is that, that, I'm trying to remember the name of that product that you got the, the mineral drops. Mineral under. trace. Yep. Mineral, I, I, uh, oh yeah, mineral trace. So I want everybody to know we've got these products. I've got some of my products uh, in my store, and of course, Dr. Jenny's got such a, an exceptional selection of products. I'm going to put up her banner right now so that you can see that it is age vital and we're looking forward to helping you and we've got products we do that will help you with all of these issues and that's the important factor here so let me just get this up and um, minerals i've had people where i've given them mineral drops even i just I put it underneath their tongue and it tastes like seawater mm -hmm, right mm -hmm, it really does mm -hmm. they look around like all of a sudden a light bulb went off in their head. It got rid of their mental fog immediately. So a lot of people are walking around with mental mental fog because they're dehydrated. Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. add some mineral to your daily. I carry my small little mineral drops in my purse everywhere I go. I'm that I'm that dorky chemist at everybody's right. table where when everybody gets water, I'm like, here, have some mineral. Yeah. I'm even putting yeah. it in their alcohol, you right know? Here. Water. <laughs> no, yes. and I wanted to ask I you got about mine. that. That's what I got. <laughs> I got I got Zephyr yeah. Hills, but I alkaline all of my bottles of water. Okay, because, so that's what I'm going to have to do is mm -hmm. get the minerals for it. And I saw that, and I knew that it was triggering me to probably make a choice there, but I didn't yet. But I got to get down anyways. I've got to I've got to uh, get um, the probiotics again and a couple other things as well. Um, now yeah. this water this water just came out of the fridge now um through a filter in the mm -hmm. fridge now am now I see, to test this water or something to make sure that it's good because now it's filtered it's filtered but, it, but is it alkaline that's why you know. have to add the mineral because okay. again saying saying filtered means it's stripping away yeah you know you yeah. want it to be filtered yeah. but you want to re-establish the electrolytes in the minerals Right. And mm -hmm. when when you have those minerals, you're preventing muscle cramps. You ever get that uh, spasm in your eye? One eye with spasm or I up have. here, this Not spasm, lately. that just means you're dehydrated. Okay. okay. Right. And now that or when make your you... feet cramp up, those are yes. those are electrolytes. You ever okay. have that debilitating pain at the bottom of your feet? And you're like, oh, my gosh. Yes. yes yep. And yeah, you're certainly going for water. That's what that's what your body's. Um, well, right. And. And, and certainly uh, when you get dehydrated, um, particularly being out in the heat, I mean, that can lead to a heat stroke. You know, you can um, certainly not feel balanced by not hydrating properly. Mm -hmm. um, That's so, so this is an important thing. Everybody that's listening, we're learning that you need to put minerals into these waters, particularly just like this one here that came out of a fridge. Sure, sure, it's filtered. It's got charcoal filter. It takes out chlorine, which is probably a good thing. 
Mm-hmm. Um, but then we need to put the yeah, you don't want the back. chlorine, you don't want the fluoride, you don't want the synthetic the fluoride. calcium. Yep. Yeah. You don't want the synthetic calcium, and that's bad for you, you know, because right. the, the tap water, that's really they're putting synthetic chemicals in there to get rid of any bacteria or, you know, anything, you know, bad. So, but get, get some lemon squeeze, organic, you know, non GMO okay. lemon squeeze. It's already the lemon juice put in a little yes. bottle or, or get lemons. I do both, you know, yes. and I'll cut up a lemon and then I'll put it in there and I'll even add a little bit of salt just so I have, you know, just a tiny bit. You're talking I love, dash. Mm-hmm. I love uh, lemon in my water personally. I think it's pretty good. And you notice that you're drinking less because your cells are being nourished because that's okay. really, I probably Absolutely. drink about, I don't know, about 20 ounces of water, 25 okay. ounces of water a day. A day. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Excellent. And that's, Excellent. that should Excellent. be, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be drinking two liters. Yep. <laughs> See, people with their, put the lemons in the water. <laughs> that's right. Richard Bay. <laughs> and I saw Richard has two parents with dementia. Uh, yeah. My family. I mean, I had a that. I had a grandmother that died of Alzheimer's, so this hits very close to home to me too. And I was a private duty um, uh, home care uh, nurse for for many years, so I had a lot of Alzheimer's dementia dem, dem, dementia so, patients. So it's and that's genetic. So it sad. can be passed down through the genes. You're saying? No, it's no, definitely it, it's definitely not genetic. It's Alzheimer's not genetic. It's we talked about it sugars and stuff. It's sure, it's diet related. So it's right? diet related, right? Yeah. So this is something that we can prevent. That's the point. Yeah, right? this is all preventative. Cancers are preventative. Dementia is preventative. Going back to my medical director, uh, Art, yeah. right, mm-hmm. with his um, aspartame. Mm-hmm. His wife calls me. This was in 2012. His mm-hmm. wife calls me. She's also a doctor. She's like Dr. Jenny. I don't know what to do with art. He's in my kitchen. He just told me he doesn't recognize me. He doesn't know who I am. He's staring at her like, wait a minute. Are you my wife? And oh, she wow. thought he was joking. She right. thought he was joking. Someone so sharp. I mean, he's an internal medicine doctor, right? I mean, he's yeah. got 12 years of <laughs> 13 years of medical school. And she's like, art, what are you talking about? Stop playing around. She goes, no, he's like, hold on, hold on. I, I know you have to be my wife, but I, I can't remember your name. That's can you imagine being on the receiving side of that? What a terrible thing to it's, lose your mind. I, right? I, I, I haven't personally had to experience that from someone that I know and love um, yet. And I hope I don't have to mm-hmm. because that would be very painful. Um, I'm not sure. And I'm not sure how I would react, to be honest. It's scary when my grandma was, you know, going through the stages of Alzheimer's all the way to, I mean, they put their diapers on their head. I mean, they do the mm-hmm. craziest things. It's like mm-hmm. a one-year-old, an eight-month-old, mm-hmm. only in a human body. Mm-hmm. Can right? they? Can they? Can they? Can you overcome that then? Once you're fully blown into the Alzheimer's, then? Uh, absolutely, you can do okay. so so much prevention. And the big pharma gives you know products like Ativan, other drugs that weaken the brain some more and that's not what they need. What okay. the Alzheimer's patients need is brain fuel, right? Okay. They need a strength and it's a muscle, just like you would exercise, mm-hmm. right? Check out mm-hmm. those guns, man. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you lifted some weights today, were you? <laughs> yeah, my five year old. Every day, right? <laughs> my forty pound year old baby. <laughs> that's how, that's how I get my exercise. <laughs> I do I do push ups with my my ten year old on my back, and then I and then I burn it down to my eight year old on my back, and then my mm-hmm. five year old on my back, and then just me by myself. Oh yeah, I get oh I get goodness. a good burn just with my girls. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to treat your brain like you would any other muscle in your body. You have to exercise it. Okay, what do you feed your muscle? right? Muscles require fuel, amino acids, all right? This is a gigantic muscle. So amino acids, fuel, you're talking peptides that nourish the brain so your brain can work and you can produce all those wonderful neurotransmitters, right? And then you need hydration. So you need those electrolytes. And L-glycine, that was an amino acid that regulates glucose Mm -hmm. because it helps support good brain. 
you need immune boosters, right? For neurological support, for the hormones, the pituitary gland, the pineal gland, right? You want to support those glands neurologically. So vitamin D3 is huge, right? right? Vitamin D3 is enormous for mental clarity, for immune system. So there's many studies on vitamin D3 with Alzheimer's and dementia. Glutathione detoxes all the negative toxins neurologically. So it's taking uh, glutathione injections right before you go to bed, and it's super simple to do. I'll usually do it in my arm. Now, I do it to keep my skin clear. I don't wear okay. foundation. I don't wear any makeup. I don't have any makeup on right now. Right. right? And I take it as, a, a, as an anti-aging. Right. So anti-aging, not just my face, my brain. This is we yeah. have one mind. This is like our engine for our car. If we don't take care of that engine, it's gonna, you know, not work for us. That's right. Our mechanics is yeah. right. <laughs> and, and I've been I've been using that analogy lately. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. because it just makes so much sense and and that we take care of ourselves just like we would our car, because if we do not take care of ourselves, then it's not gonna take care of us. And so to have good health, we have to do some maintenance. Now, would be the best thing to to determine what to do next with the things that we're deficient in is you've got testing kits, right? And, and so we can do testing kits, determine exactly what's going on with an individual. And then you're able to then give them specifically things that will help them uh, with their specific needs. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I do neutra, neutra evaluations. That's what it's called, where we're able to assess the amount of vitamins, minerals, enzymes, probiotics, essential fatty acids, and uh, isolate how much a person, an individual needs. So it's checking individual mechanics again and seeing how much fish oil they should have how much folate, how much B6, B12, these are all supplements for the brain, uh, vitamin D. Fish oil is enormous for brain health because those are fats. You're, like, again, you need good fats for energy and fuel, right? Not the bad fats, you need the good fats. So avocado, whole milk, cream cheese, nuts, you know, not peanuts. Peanuts are toxin, uh, toxic for human beings. Birds can digest peanuts, human beings cannot. We lack the enzymes to digest peanuts and it's loaded with fungus and mold, mm. right? So mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know that. So I always tell yeah. them, replace your peanut butter with almond butter. Almond so get rid of the peanut yeah. butter because mm -hmm. it causes inflammation, neurological inflammation, and replace it with almond butter or sunflower seed butter or cashew butter. I personally love the almond butter. It's so good. Almond butter mm -hmm. and honey sandwiches. My children love it. Oh boy. It's so amazing. It's so good. So On our toast, you know, Nutella. almond butter. Where's Nutella fit in? <laughs> oh my um, goodness. My, I think my children are addicted to Nutella. So <laughs> I, <laughs> Pretty good stuff. I can't yeah. believe, yeah. It's hazelnut. It's cacao and it's hazelnut. Like, so we okay, do get the hazelnut. Spread, yeah. yeah. It's ha hazelnut. Yep. And then it has uh, regular sugar in there. So I do have to hide it from my children. <laughs> <laughs> because it's so good. It is so easy to get a big thing in Nutella and then it's gone within two hours between all of us <laughs> spreading around <laughs> watching a movie. And we're right. just eating Nutella. But yeah, <laughs> hazelnut butter or Nutella okay. is a good, yep. But don't overdo it. And if you're going to overdo it, you, if you find yourself that you binged and you're like, oh my gosh, I just ate a whole entire tub of ice cream. Uh, yeah. You're lo you're loading up on that L-glycine. You're taking yeah. that L-glycine. You're taking yeah. a okay. double dose of okay. vitamin B6 and B12 and folate to re-nourish your cells and reestablish that glucose so you don't become and you know, induce diabetes, because it will. It's a domino effect. It's all those dominoes start. Well, off. and I've got to pay attention to this because you know my dad's had it for many, many years, and and he's taking. But we're going to get him healthy too, though. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And that's what I'm going to do. Is is that I'm, I, I've now taken it on that it's really important for me to learn as much as I can about taking care of myself. And so not only do I want to take care of myself, I want to take care of the people that I love and that are around me too. Mm -hmm. So you can. And expect you're taking care of yourself 
for the people around you because you're exactly. no good to right. anybody dead. That's you're right. You're no good to your family if you're in a nursing home. That's correct. Right? Exactly. exactly. I, I want to be vibrant and fit. You yeah. know, in my 90s, there's not any reason to mm -hmm. be vibrant and fit. And you only, again, you only have one brain, right? And then teaching everybody, you know, I constantly teach my children, constantly, constantly, don't do this, don't do that. But eventually it starts to stick because I'm so, I'm talking about it all the time. My, my 10 year old, when she was in kindergarten, told her teacher, you know, go to a Christian school here in Sarasota. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She, the teacher had these juice boxes and my six-year-old at the time in kindergarten looked at it and she's like uh mrs nielsen this has high fructose corn syrup in it mm -hmm. and she's like what are you talking about she goes this is going to make us hyper and <laughs> it might give us diabetes and attention disorders do you really want us all to have attention disorders <laughs> the okay. teacher calls me and said um your daughter made me go to the grocery store i had you know what the, the teacher's assistant she went to the grocery store and bought the non-gmo juice boxes with the real sugar so here was a kindergarten girl my daughter mm -hmm. that made a difference in her class because i said it so much to her you know That's she's like important. i don't she's like i don't want diabetes you know right <laughs> it's never too soon to teach it's never too early to teach your children these good habits okay. this is something that they're going to pass down Yes. This should be a culture, a culture of health, especially yes. with this pandemic. The last thing you want is to have sugar issues and then you get COVID and then COVID makes your sugar issues worse and then you die. It wasn't because of the COVID, it's because you had, you know, your body was already on the tipping, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's what we're trying to share. We're trying to mm -hmm. share the fact that it is time to take care of ourselves, everybody. It's time yeah. to take action and do something about that. And Dr. Jenny has got the premier product in my mind and whatever you need to be able to meet your nutritional needs and balance your body so that we can be as healthy as we can be. I'm excited about this, to be really honest with you. I'm excited for my family. I'm excited for myself. Mm -hmm. And so it's I'm about super excited. Yes, it's about taking love, action. I love all the comments, fruits, fruit and vegetable smoothies. That's right. Richard Fay. Absolutely. With, with some, you know, plain yogurt in there. So you're getting that good bacteria. Christina Sc uh, Sc Schoolin. Schoolin, uh, I think. Schoolin. Yep. I okay. Think. I never liked diet soda. Good. Cause it's bad. Yeah. Run, you know, get, get the jaritos. <laughs> I love the Mexican sodas, the, the Central American ones in the glass bottles. If you, if you're craving a soda, and I have them in my refrigerator. I carry the Jarito brand. That's what it's called. If you went into a Mexican restaurant and mm -hmm. asked them for a Mexican soda, it comes mm -hmm. in a glass bottle. It's mm -hmm. the real, real cane sugar. So there's, oh. three, there's three ingredients in it. Okay. And normal soda has about 30 different ingredients on uh, the label. Okay. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen those. I should try one out. Yeah. Absolutely. Richard Faye Richard says make aspartame illegal. It really should be illegal. I can't even believe i mean it is in so many of our products it really should we as a as a community should okay come together you know and, and talk to you know um our political people food yeah. food, food right the agricultural well, Exactly. It is about getting re-educated, or not so much re-educated, but getting the education, but then doing something about that and trying to mm -hmm. help our communities, because that's what this is all about. It's all about community, because we love you, the people that are watching this. We love ourselves enough to know that we need to start taking care of ourselves. So, yeah. It spread that love, right? Spread the yep. love and spread, spread good health. So that you know, I, I I just I'm like I said, very excited. There are several. Oh, Christina's doesn't want to drink Slurpees anymore. Oh I no, just saw that one too. <laughs> yes, if you can avoid it. Oh no, no. It. Yeah. Yeah. Unless uh, you're making a non-GMO Slurpee with real fruits, right? Because really, it's it's frozen juices. Right. Right. So you, you can make a natural one. Like yeah. with my children, I make the natural pops, the popsicles. 
Mm. We, we make them out of, you know, real ingredients without all of the empty sugar, the synthetic sugars. <laughs> but if you're a slurpy drinker, you have to Let's get on supplements. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to bring this up, too. Is, is that Richard says he wants to be on the speed Zoom call. Now, you, the point of the matter with respect to this is this, Richard. There's a phone number that you can call. And you have a telemedicine line, is that correct, Dr. Jenny? So the people that can have concerns can call you and speak to a doctor and get answers to their health questions and or deal with w whatever it has to do with health and wellness wise, correct? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. And it will yeah. schedule consultation via Zoom. So then you'll be able to have an actual consultation with me. We'll go thoroughly through your medical history, your diet, your spirituality, uh, fitness, and uh, analysis of mitochondrial function, neurological, cellular, everything from you know top to bottom to get your mechanics functioning optimally. I saw a really good one. Um, okay. uh, Christina said that mm -hmm. she can't eat bananas because it upsets her stomach. That's very good. So mm -hmm. it if you're craving something sweet, I would go on a mineral complex every day, capsules. So Christina, go ahead and take, I have a product called mineral complex. You could take that every night before you go to bed mm -hmm. and that will uh, help reduce the amount of sugars that you crave. Even taking a, a weekly vitamin B12 shot, high dose vitamin B12 shot or B complex, all of those B's work fantastic together. We sell the vials where you can give yourself the injections every single week helps boost your immune system, helps um, give you healthy weight, your hair grows in nice and thick, and you'll see new growth, but your memory and your energy will improve. And, and I just want to say this, because I know that um, taking care of ourselves, I, what I'm going to say is this, to me, because I don't have health insurance, um, I, I couldn't afford it. It got to a point where, you know, it was outrageous amount of money. Um, and so my point is this, is that I recognize that in two inch, I want to live, number one. Okay, so I decided I'm living. So because I'm going to live, I want to be healthy and that this is an investment in myself. Mm -hmm. And even though it might not be cheap, although there are some products that are very reasonably priced, uh, I'm telling you that this is a great investment in yourself. And, and so what price are you worth? We're priceless, correct? So taking you can't care put a price on your health because yeah. Stephen, if they don't pay for it now, you pay for yeah. it later. Yeah, and exactly. that later is way more pricier. Cancer, it's super expensive. Yes, right. It, so is it, diabetes. It, it, so is Alzheimer's. And and, so and, and I don't want. And I don't want to see that happen. I mean, I just had a very close friend that that uh, is no longer with us uh, as of Monday. And, you know, I'm glad that I was there. And, and this made me think about this topic as well, too. But she, she was dying of brain cancer. And it was very difficult to see this. And she definitely had moments where she wasn't there. Um, and and I, I really think it was one of the worst ways I think a person could suffer and, 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 and die. And so um, I think it's important that we take care of ourselves so that we can avoid situations like that. And I think I w maybe you can just speak about, I, I just got to believe that as well as getting our, our, our bodies balanced, isn't it got something to do too with our thinking as well, Dr. Jenny? Okay, repeat that. I would doesn't, doesn't health, that's okay. Doesn't good health have something to do with our thinking as well? Absolutely. If you don't have good health, it, it affects your mind and your, your mind, your, the pineal gland, you get calcification around the pineal gland. Pineal gland is a lot of religions call it the third eye. It's an actual gland that if when calcified, you're not even able to make sense of your surroundings. Mm -hmm. So in essence, is that, you know, part of Alzheimer's and dementia, if you can't even tap into the spiritual realm to be able to mm -hmm. process life, that's your consciousness, mm -hmm. right? If mm -hmm. you don't know you're conscious anymore, <clears throat> you're brain dead, right? There's just no, no way to you're live. Still, there, there's no, you're, no you're still you, 
Yeah. But <laughs> there was my little one. <laughs> did you see the baby? That's cute. Yes. Um, and that did throw me. I was sitting, what was I thinking? No. <laughs> <laughs> Like, who's that little five-year-old? <laughs> That's what it was. Yes. Um, I don't know what I was thinking exactly. See, th there we go. Because I got distracted. And that's uh, maybe we'll just, we're, we're down on time, but I want to know that for me. All right. So yep. I'm concentrating. I'm doing something. I'm thinking a certain way. And then something else happens and I get distracted. And then, my God, I cannot remember what I was thinking about. And it takes a few minutes to get back there. Why is that happening? Is that Sorry. Just my, is it, my, is my little it? one is asking me for some sugar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got the good sugar. How about some honey? Yes. Well, I, I got the, the non-GMO chocolate chip this is what she brought me look at this okay chocolate chip a cookie dough Sweet. <laughs> mm -hmm. look awesome. at her there she is there's my cutie <laughs> after we eat dinner okay so oh. yes i mean I, I guess i was saying you know that i had lost a friend here recently i didn't know her very well but i have a friend that, that was taking care of her and it was a it was a tough thing to see and yeah, it just I'm woke so me sorry. up. It, it was. It was a tough thing to go through. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I felt for her, you know. Um, and all I'm thinking is this. It's time to take care of ourselves from a health and wellness standpoint. I'm pleased that we have Health and Wellness Wednesday. I'm beyond ecstatic that Dr. Jenny is with us and that, that every Wednesday at 7, we're talking about our health and wellness and that she has all these wonderful products um, I mean, her her experience reads like a book. I mean, she's got so much experience in so many different areas. And, you know, we couldn't ask for better to uh, have guiding us with respect yeah. to our health and wellness. And we certainly appreciate that very much, Dr. Jenny. Yeah, you're what, welcome. And I'm a mommy. <laughs> and she's a mom. She's a real person. Yeah. You can talk to her. <laughs> I love it. Yep. So, and I'm a product of what I preach. I really yes, am. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I know that you are. And I know that you are. I'm and able to live and enjoy all those delicious foods that everyone wants to eat, but I live functionally. I take my supplements to support. Yep. Here they are. They just saw mommy on TV. Oh, so so sweet. They, all yeah. wanted... <laughs> they should say hello. Say hello say hi, to everybody. Guys. All right, let's do yeah. some introductions here. Who do yes, we have let's, here? Let's do that. Let's see. This so is awesome. my this is my five year old. Well, hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my eight year old. Welcome. Mm -hmm. I'm so Look glad to see you tonight. <laughs> so, so cool. This is great. So your mom does a great show here. We were talking with people tonight. We're trying to help them get really healthy. And boy, I tell you. We love you, Dr. Denny. We sure do. And we appreciate all this great advice that you've given us. Why don't you go ahead? You can close us out, take us out, give us some last bit of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Cheetos. Is that what I saw? <laughs> okay, you're getting your vitamin injection tonight. <laughs> No. Yeah, That's and you're Fridays so kidding. Or Saturdays, remember? Right, uh, you got to wait. You got to wait for Friday. Night. <laughs> yeah, and Where did you find now. that? <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's why I said we we live. We have our indulgences. I allow yeah. I allow certain yeah, different products for the kids, but they're all Yeah. Well, as long, it, as long as you do the things like you said, you can take you can take uh, the proper um, I'm not, I'm looking for the right answer here. What's the right term? So you take the proper nutrients. Is that the correct term? Yep. So yeah. you, you have to support your mechanics, you right? Can, yeah. a, a, a nice way for me to describe it is if you're taking your car out mudding, what do you do at yeah. the end of the day? You wash it off. You wash it off. Yeah. So that's what I'm teaching the consumer. That's what I'm teaching my doctors. Okay. Let's teach people to live functionally. Let's teach them to constantly be on a daily cleanse by the end of the day, taking their supplements. And then it's like guiltless cheating, right? Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Being silly. Oh my <laughs> 
She's being silly. Lots oh, of people yeah, are going to see it. that. <laughs> Wonderful. We love you. That's so awesome. I'm well, we glad really they do. made it in here so you can <laughs> see how how silly my daughters are. They look pretty and, happy. They do. And I, and, I, and I have two more. Can you believe it? Oh, my goodness. You got your hands. Mm -hmm. no, no, yep, the big brother was supposed to be washing them. Uh, <laughs> well, we, we love kids, and I, I we really do. Kids are great. The kids mm -hmm. are our future. This is, you know, when, you, when you've got five-year-olds telling the kindergarten teacher, hey, this is not so healthy. We need to get something different. That's oh, pretty and cool. They, and they want to learn. They're little sponges, yeah, and we absolutely. have to protect our next generation. You know, this is our future yeah. generation. We have to. How many beautiful minds do we have out there that have been robbed of their minds? Yeah. Because they, they don't know what they don't know. So we, we do need to. Oh, my yeah. goodness. You better stop, Billy. <laughs> she is. Billy. <laughs> she is. So but, yeah, we, I, I yeah. saw a comment like that. How many how many minds are, are being robbed? There's there. There are so many. I mean, what what is the current, you know, uh that just in the United States, you know, how many people have Alzheimer's? Let's see what 2019 brought. Okay. Okay, nice the number Steven. of Americans living with Alzheimer's. Yep, an estimated 5.8 million Americans aged 65 and older are living mm -hmm. with Alzheimer's and dementia. 65%. That's a lot. Of, that is a lot. <laughs> I mean, wow. what what beautiful minds. And yeah. then you you can see even a chart from 2019, the assessments. So next generation, and these numbers need to be declining, not increasing. Yep. And that's I huge. Agree. I mean, there were there was a 33.3 percent increase in juvenile diabetes last year. Wow. So that we should are, be yeah. preventing this. Why is it yeah. getting worse? <laughs> Because probably the, some of the foods and the things that we're eating, and clearly what we talked about is the sugar. We're getting the wrong kinds of sugar. We need to get the correct kinds of sugar. There's only three. Dr. Jenny was talking about that. This is, the, I love these broadcasts because these are the kind of broadcasts where simply you have to go back, replay it, replay it. I see that like Nikki is asking, she said she's like a consultation. That's, an, uh, that's a good idea as well. And get something specifically for each individual. It's so beautiful that you do that. The phone consultation, obviously, I think it's a thing that's going to be, uh, become very, might become the standard anymore than to have to go to the doctor's office type of thing. Right. So, so Dr. Jenny does offer that. We, we certainly ask you to go ahead. How can they reach you, Dr. Jenny? Sure. Uh, 941-388-0800 mm -hmm. or toll-free 888-388-7237 or my email, Jenny, J-E-N-N-Y, like Jenny from the block <laughs> <laughs> at agevital.com. You can see the logo on the top right hand corner, A G E V I T A L dot com, Jenny at agevital.com. Or you can go yeah. to the website, www.agevital.com. Down at the bottom, scroll down, there's a, an assessment form where you can go ahead and start listing off all the symptoms that you have. And that gives us about 50%, you know, in, in the right direction. And we give you a call right back to make the pieces of the puzzle come together from testing to what supplement recommendations we have for you. That's so excellent. You we, need to we, detox your brain. And if you, if you live, you know, with bad daily diet, bad habits, and you have constant stress, I'll obviously remove the amount of stress in your life. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Absolutely. But, so you can go right to her website and you can mm -hmm. fill that consultation out. Tell them that the LWN, you saw it right here on the Ask Dr. Jenny show. Make sure you mention that so we know where you're, that, you, that you saw it. We want to know that we're touching people, that we're making a difference. And I know that we are, but we want you to tell us too as well. Um, so we just really, I see a ton of comments. We really appreciate everybody who's taking time to come and join us tonight. Thank you, Dr. Jenny. Uh, we want everybody to have a great health and wellness Wednesday or it might be Thursday, particularly like, well, I see Sandy's watching. So she's down in Australia. Yeah, it's all she right. said she made it. And then Richard Fay, yes, I do international Zoom calls. Yeah. We, we still schedule it the same way. We'll schedule it via, you know, email, you know, with my pharmacist, my RNs will schedule uh, you to either do a consult with myself or any other of my other healthcare providers. I have MDs. 
I have nurse practitioners, PAs, and pharmacists mm -hmm. that do consultations, and it's one-on-one. -on -one. The consultations usually last for about an hour, mm -hmm. and then we get you on your road on the road to re you know recovering and being the better version of you. Excellent. That's mm -hmm. exactly. And if you go to our website, you'll see exactly that. We help you become a better you. That's what it's about. Yes, it is. Because we love you all so very much. Thank and we you, love every you, Stephen. No, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Remember to join me tomorrow. I'll be back about 6.20 a.m. Join the Sunrise Daybreakers. We're going to be talking about connecting to nature, watching that sun coming up, listening to the birds singing. We're talking about gratitude, too, and happiness all starts with gratitude. Yeah. So we'll be talking gratitude tomorrow on Thankful Thursday. And then Friday, uh, we're talking about love in the morning, 6.20 a.m. Eastern Standard. In the evening, I've got Evangelist Norma Chapman on the Town Hall Get to Know, 7 o'clock. Join us for that. This is going to be really awesome. Everybody, take care. Thank you very much. Remember to share this video out. Come back next Wednesday, 7 o'clock, and we will see you then. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Yeah, yep. thank you, Stephen. You're very welcome. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and all his favor upon anybody who's watching. Exactly. We're all <laughs> blessed. Thank you. Yes. Take care, Bye. everybody. Bye for now.